welcome back to my class you know that i am hani munisa teacher and junior lecturer of alibad high school and junior college in today's class we will discuss about the chapter 4 that is named as production analysis from first year subject economics we have already discussed in our previous class up to economics scale now we will continue the topic from cost and the cost curves in a short run that is in short run the cost faced by a frame can be classified into two types such as the fixed and the variable cost first fixed cost and the variable cost here the fixed cost of a firm are those costs that do not vary but fixed with the change in output the value of fixed cost is always positive when if the production activity does not take place or it is zero so here the firm has to bear the fixed cost even when it is temporary shut down so here the marshal has called these costs as a supplementary cost or overhead cost okay these are the fixed cost now come to the variable cost here on other side so here the variable cost are those cost which change with the changes in the volume of output when output is increase variable cost also increase exactly and this will diminish when output is reduced so these case when production stops so here the variable cost are called as the direct cost here the marshal called these cost as prime cost okay after fixed and variable cost now we will discuss about the nature of short run cost and cost curves and so here in nature of short run cost and the cost curves here short run is a period of time within which the firms can vary in output by varying only the variable factors of production here the fixed factors such as the buildings capital and the permanent employees etc can be varied here so here the short run cost structure of a frame reveals the fixed cost and the variable cost so they related concepts are total fixed cost that is tfc and total variable cost that is tvc total cost that is tc average cost that is ac and at last the marginal cost that is mc here the nature of the short run cost and the cost curves are explained by using this table and different curves see this both so here it is to be noted that under short run the firms can continue their production activity as long as they cover the variable cost exactly so they incur the losses if it fails to do so then it will close down on other side in the long run all costs are variable and the firm must cover them at the rolling price so otherwise it will be chased to exit exactly so after this now we will see the relationship between the average cost and marginal cost that is ac and mc here in the relationship between the average cost that is ac and marginal cost that is mc here in the short run analysis of the firm ac that is average cost or short run average cost that is sac and marginal cost that is mc or short run marginal cost that is smc are more important than total cost tc okay the unit of output do not cost the same amount to the firm but they must be sold at the same price okay at the given level of output if we know the price of the product to know whether it is profitable or loss to the firm knowledge of sac is required here so the marginal cost determines the exact level of the output of a frame exactly so here the average cost that is ac is the sum of average variable cost that is avc and the average fixed cost that is afc is the total cost divided by the number of units produced in short the cost per unit is known as the average cost that is ac only here the marginal cost can be calculated either from the total variable cost or total cost here the change in either total variable cost or total cost show the marginal cost so 
it is to be noted the both ac and mc curves will have u shape implying this three phases that is decreasing minimum minimum here constant and increasing this shown here see this one now after that the revenue analysis here the purpose of revenue analysis is to explain the determination of the price under different market situations okay here the supply of goods depend on their cost of production exactly in any market price is determined by the interaction of demand and the supply of goods absolutely so here any productive activity is undertaken with the motive to earn profit which is difference between the total revenue earned by the firm and its total cost so here we need to study the various concept of revenue and revenue cost so we will discuss now here the first concepts of revenue here the amount of money that the firm receives from the scale of certain quantities of a good at a various prices is called revenue only here the total sale proceeds of a firm are known as revenue we can discuss this three types of revenue concepts and they are total revenue which is known as the tr then average revenue that is ar then marginal revenue that is mr so first we will discuss about the total revenue that is tr total income received by the firm from the scale of certain quantity of output at a given price is called total revenue that is tr it is obtained by multiplying the price of commodity by the number of units sold okay that is the tr is equal to p into q whereas here the tr total revenue then p is the price of the good and q is the quantity of the good sold get it so after the tr that is total revenue now we will discuss about the average revenue that is ar average revenue is the revenue per unit of goods sold okay it is computed by dividing the total revenue by the number of units of good sold units of good sold that is ar is equal to tr which is divided by q and that is equal to p into q divided by q and that all is equal to p only so here it is clear that the average revenue is equal to the p means price here price is the average revenue the demand or price curve is called the average revenue curve get it so after ar that is average revenue now we will go with the mr that is marginal revenue it is the net addition of the total revenue by selling additional units of good that is the revenue which would be earned by the selling an additional unit of the goods here the marginal revenue can be expressed as marginal revenue here mr is expressed as mr is equal to total qr which is divided by total q here the this one triangle tr is showing the change in the total revenue and triangle q is showing that the change in quantity here ar and mr curves under perfect competition here ar means the average revenue and mr means the marginal revenue and under perfect competition there exists a large number of sellers and large number of buyers exactly so the sellers under this competition offer homogeneous products and neither seller or nor buyer have any control on the price of the product here so the price of the product is determined by its supply and demand exactly so only the one price prevails in the whole industry and each firm can sell any amount of the goods at the market price get it so here the demand for the firm's product so here the demand for the firm's product become infinity elastic demand curve for the product of a firm itself is the firm average revenue curve and in this case the total revenue that is tr and average revenue that is ar and marginal revenue that is mr of perfectly competitive firm are analyzed here under using this table see this and diagram also see so after ar and mr curves under perfect competition now we will discuss about the 
AR and MR curves under monopoly. Here AR means the average revenue and MR means the marginal revenue. Here under the monopoly there is a single seller and the commodity offered by the monopolist may be or may not be homogeneous. Okay. The product has no close substitutes here and the cross elasticity of demand is very low. Here the monopolist can control the price and output of the commodity also, but he cannot determine the both simultaneously. Exactly. So, if he set once, then other will be determined by the demand in the market. Exactly. So, he can sell more quantity at a lower price and he reduce the prices also. The relationship between the TR, AR and MR is shown in this table. See this one. So, here the MR that is marginal revenue is less than the average revenue AR and the price P and the average revenue AR are equal, but both these are more than the marginal revenue that is P is equal to AR and AR is greater than MR. Price is equal to AR average revenue and average revenue is greater than MR that is marginal revenue. And also see this figure of relationship between the AR and MR under monopoly. So, here the quantity of output is measured on the O axis and revenue are measured on O y axis. So, here AR and MR represent the average revenue and marginal revenue curves respectively. Exactly. So, as the average revenue and the marginal revenue both are falling here AR and MR curves will be downward sloping. Here the MR is the lower than AR and that is why the marginal revenue curve is lie below the average revenue curve or demand curve. Get it? So, finally by this chapter we come to know and understand about the production analysis and here the production is nothing but the creation of utility of a good and creator is called producer or entrepreneur. So, traditionally the factors of production are classified as land, labor, capital and organization. Here the production function explain the relationship between the factors of production and production exactly. So, the behavior of the production can be studied with the law of variable proportions and the law of return to scale and the law of variables production relates to short run production function and the law of returns to the scale that is relates to the long run production function. Get it here. So, in this law three stages are there when the size of the firm increase it enjoys the internal economies exactly when the size of an industry increases all the firms in this industry will enjoy the external economies exactly. So, here the law of supply states that as price increases supply also increases obviously that is like a vice versa. Here the supply curves shift right side to left side due to the change in other determinants of supply assuming the price of the good remains the constant. Okay. So, here the firm depends. So, here the firm spends on fixed cost and variable cost in the short run. Here TFC curve will be parallel to O axis and TVC and TC curves will have the opposite S shape. Both AC and MC curves are U shaped due to the existence of a single price. That is P is equal to AR and AR is equal to MR under the perfect competition and AR MR curves will be parallel to O axis. Here the monopolist in monopoly can sell higher quantity at a lower price and it is like a vice versa again. So, therefore, always AR is always greater than MR in monopoly and the AR curve lies above the MR curves exactly. So, by this we have completed our fourth chapter that is production analysis. Thank you.